Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks again for joining this uh, journey on YouTube that I'm pursuing. Uh, guys, a lot of people keep asking about US and uh, career, life, jobs uh, in the US and uh, my dog is chewing a bone here so don't mind if you hear some uh, bone kind of sound. A lot of people ask like, uh, you know, uh, about life and while America is the leading country in, you know, economy, companies, IT, entertainment, everything. Basically, the US is number one in anything. I mean, if you're looking at YouTube now, it's created in the US, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, everything. So there is that dream that every kid has to come to the US. But remember, guys, it's not such an easy life now. I'm, I'm taking myself and my wife out of the equation because uh, we are 40s, in our 40s, we are settled, we are educated, we are done with career in terms of we've, we've reached the levels we want. Uh, we, we basically have what we want. Uh, we can always have more of what we want to, but you know, I'm taking myself and my wife out of this equation because uh, you cannot compare, like if you're 22, 23, you can, cannot compare the lifestyle of someone in 40s, 50s, 60s. You know, it's very different. I cannot compare the lifestyle that my parents have. They they have not a single loan. They don't need anything. They have everything they need in life. Okay, they are living in India. People may say, okay, they, they can live in the US or Europe, but they're happy in India. They don't want to move out of India. They're very happy where they are. So each stage of life, uh, you cannot compare to the next stage, but you can pursue and be ambitious enough to attain that stage. So all I'm saying is, you know, when, when you move to US or Europe or one of these first world countries, uh, you know, even Australia is perceived as Western world, uh, you assume that, okay, money will come, life will be great. I'll have three cars, I'll have a house, I'll have lovely backyard, front yard, beautiful, uh, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. Okay. So remember, it takes 10 years, 15 years to build up. Firstly, if you come to US, just to get a green card, some people wait 30 years. Okay, so you'll be on visa issues every time. Every time you'll have some small, small visa issues. You'll have to renew paperwork, interviews. Uh, if you're on L1A also, you have to keep renewing it. H1B, you have to keep renewing it. The risk of losing your job being sent back to India or to wherever you come from is always there. So uh, when you have a green card, okay, you can finally say you've, you know, become a permanent resident and you're here to stay. So it's not so easy. You know, people keep saying, I'll go to US and have a great life. It's a tough life. Like if I, my son, who I consider very privileged, he has car, he has good house, he has food. He has a bloody tough life. He has college. He has gym. He has work. He works at the age of 18 just turned 18 that do not he's not been 18 for too long he has college morning to afternoon he has work afternoon till 10 in the night he doesn't have to work but he wants to because that, that is the culture here you know so even i'm saying my son who doesn't really need to do anything much he has such a busy tough life okay now if tomorrow he wants to live on his own or if he wants to take his own house on rent or something then he's gonna struggle He's going to have like hand to mouth, you know, you, you will pass each one just earning, giving your rent, giving your car bill, everything if he moves out. So, you know, there, there are kids who move out and they like, you know, I want to be on my own in the US. Everyone moves out, lives on their own at the age of 20, 21, but they struggle. They may have rich parents. They don't take help from their parents. They are struggling big time. So uh, in India, when I compare like what we do here in this house, uh, here we have to vacuum, wash the dishes, dishwasher, clothes. Even if you have a cleaning lady, she will come once a week, once in two weeks. It's not every day. You have to do the snow shoveling. You have to do the car washing. You have to do like in India, you will have someone to wash your car to clean everything. Look at this one. You want to do the dishes, Zoe? Zoe, you want to do the dishes? What are you scratching? So we had put some magnets over here and she tore all of them down. So now she's trying to remove this also. Why don't you let me do a video properly? Huh? You're bored? 
I think that's the sign that I have to end the video soon. But what I'm saying, guys, is life. Don't assume life. Once you move to US, you can come here in in like a best college, MIT or uh, you know Harvard or whatever. You still will have to struggle. You know, you'll have to work. You'll have to do the you know ta menial task kind of jobs to make money. You're not going to come and have a managerial position overnight with a tie and a cabin. So, Karishma and I have taken years to do that. You know, now Zoe is biting my leg. So, let me just talk to her for a minute. It's a nice sunny day. We keep the windows open. It's a little cold, not too cold, but we get the sun inside. Sorry, the backyard looks like a mess because the grass and all has gone. Yeah, so guys, basically, uh, you should have ambitions to move to US, Europe, whatever. But life is so damn tough. You could be doing Uber. You could be doing Uber Eats. You could be doing... A different kind of like I know some youtubers they were talking about you know cleaning people's backyard for snow shoveling and all that in the US now maybe in India you will feel those jobs are not up to the mark but here it's fine anyone does any job you know so there's dignity in labor so life is tough here like every day you think we are just chilling enjoying life we are not we are struggling we are struggling like with kids with dog with with life with work and we are in our 40s. We have achieved most of our goals in life. Uh, what more someone who's 20 without a visa, without a proper situation of green card, without a citizenship, they move here. They're like not sure of what they're going to do. What's their life going to be? They have to struggle. Rent is expensive in the big cities. You, you have no idea how tough it can be. So a lot of Indians uh, who are very rich, they decide that, okay, US or Europe is just a holiday destination. You know, we want our maids, we want our drivers, we want people to paint our house, we want people to take out the trash, we want people to come every day to wash the car. You know, all that happens in India. But yes, US has its edge on opportunities. You're in the place to do everything you want in life. I know other countries are picking up too, but US is where everything starts, you know, like whether it's a Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, IT, entertainment, movies, whatever, music, everything big happens here. So, you know, you can guess by my topics and my videos that I'm a big, big uh, proponent of the US and its life here. I would personally never move out of the US unless really I have to. My kids would never move out. So, but yes, my at the same time, my parents, my parents would never leave India. They would come here for a holiday, one, two months, and they would get bored and go back. So each one has their own likings. You know, in my own family, I'm giving you examples. My brother works in uh, India as a pilot. He may not want to leave India. In, in India, pilots earn well. In US, Europe, pilots is a very average salary. They may not want to move here. So it's different for different people. But at the same time, as long as you're happy, wherever you are in the world, you will be great. So this was a little gyan video, little hard talk video, guys. But I feel sometimes my subscribers just have this wrong impression that once I go to the US, life is easy. No, it's not easy. And there are some YouTubers who make these videos, all the fun stuff they show you, they go here, go there. That is just 10% of the fake, you know, like, okay, we are enjoying life. You don't know the struggles, you know, those same YouTubers who are, you know, showing you locations, showing you different, different spots they get you know deported overnight i know one recently one youtuber she had to leave us and uh, move out so uh, it's not all rosy when they are here they say oh we uh, we're doing this doing that look at this house look at that house i want to get this house i got this car it's just superficial you have to slog for it it's not going to come easy it doesn't happen like this taking a car on a loan is very easy over here but it's not your car you're in debt so you got to think through everything. Buying a big house, you can buy. I could have bought a house four times this size. Okay, but my monthly payment would be so high that I'll be literally pulling my skin off. So we took a house that's within our budget, which we can pay off very quickly. So it depends. I have friends who have huge houses. They have houses with a swimming pool. That doesn't mean anything. You know, that just means they're paying the bank every month much more. That's how it is. It's a struggle. Wherever you are in the world, it's tough. You're going to have a struggle. If you're in your 20s, educate, work hard, focus. Don't just have fake dreams. You have to work very, very hard.
for these, uh, you know, and you tend to watch one or two YouTubers who have millions of subscribers. They have a lot of money. Don't just go by these guys. They are just one off, you know, chance. They get one off opportunity in life. It's like winning a lottery. You win the lottery, you show off your money, you show off your cars, you show off your house. That's not going to work. So keep all this in mind, guys. Signing off now. Ryan Vlogs Live on Instagram. Follow me there. Hope you like this video. Take care. Bye.